And hello there, Dental Nachos Nation. Terry Brock here, and I want to welcome you to yet another Talking Tech Tips with Terry, Tuesday at 2. It's now 2 o'clock here on the East Coast, and I'm going to share something with you I'm really excited about today. So I'm going to show you a tool that I've been using, and they just gave it a major upgrade that's even better than it was, and it has changed the way that I'm using my computer. I mean, it literally did. When I got it, oh, maybe about a year ago, it changed the way I started doing some things, and I had to figure it out first. It's not really that difficult. And so what I want to do is show you what can be done with this. We're looking at tools all the time here at Dental Nachos, trying to help you out and help you with many different ways that you are using computers, technology, smartphones, and all of that. And we want to make sure that you're getting the benefit of that here at Dental Nachos. We really appreciate you joining us here and being with us live as we do this. I'm having fun here uh, putting it all together in my little studio here. I've got my monitor over here, the confidence monitor, we call it. I'm watching what's happening and it's actually about because we're going live right now using restream for the live uh, broadcast of this we're going to several different platforms and wherever you're watching this whether it's on Facebook or if you're getting it on uh, my, my, one of my channels or LinkedIn we're also getting it over on Twitter and we're getting it on YouTube so it's on all of those we'd love to hear from you and just find out what it is that you would like to talk about you can leave a comment on the platform where you are and by the way one of the really nice things about using Restream is that we can bring in all those conversations very easily and very quickly. Well, today we're going to be talking about how you can boost your productivity with Stream Deck. Stream Deck is the tool. Write that down. Stream Deck is a great little tool so that you program, say, going to a website or a certain function or can also be playing a video or an audio or something like that. Something you want done, you press a button and it's done. I got a chance to know about it when I was working with, and well, while I am working with, Ecamm. I use Ecamm on my Mac. It gives me the ability to do a lot of broadcasting. Matter of fact, that's what I'm using right now. Uh, i show you behind the scenes. That's how we're getting the graphics on the screen and all those kind of nice little things so that as I go through it, you see, I can just pull up another graphic. I just press a key. There it is. So go, back, go back here. There it is. Put that in there. It comes in like that. And then I come over here to yet another one. I'm using Ecamm for that. And Ecamm is a tool that I can use with with Stream Deck, and you can use it even without Ecamm. All kinds of possibilities. I'm going to show you some of those today that we're working with because uh, I really admire and am learning a lot from Paul Goodman. We affectionately call him Dr. Nachos, and he is our leader here uh, for Dental Nachos, and he's always pressing himself to go farther and to do more, even though he's already done a lot to do more. And it's like, okay, how do you come up with these ideas? One of these days, we're going to find out how he keeps coming up with so many great ideas. <laughs> I think we could solve just about all the problems of the world. Matter of fact, we might have to send him off to Washington. No, no, we need him here. Those knuckleheads in Washington, they're on their own for it. But I think we need that kind of thinking and that kind of ways of looking at it to make things a little bit different and to uh, get better all the time. I love the way he says, test, don't guess. Too often we guess what's going to work or what's not going to work. And I want to do that today. We're going to be testing, working with, I've been testing this. And when I saw it, I thought, wow, I want to share that with Dental Nachos, let you see the kinds of things that are done. So here it is. This is called Stream Deck, and it's from a company called El Gato. The cat is what that says in Spanish. And El Gato, you'll see this the box there has 32 different keys on there. Now they have another box that has uh, uh, eight keys on there, so it's a little bit smaller, costs a little bit less. This one right here retails for about $260 or so, and a uh, nice little tool, and it gives you the ability to do quite a bit with it. Matter of fact, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shift over here to this, and now you're getting not one, but two Terry's. That's right, I've got another camera right there, and my regular camera here. And the reason I did that, you think, well, Terry, why are you doing that? Well, let me show you. I'm gonna pick this one up, and point it over here at my, there's our, our confidence monitor. See, notice it's a little bit behind. It's about 11 seconds behind what we're doing in the real world here. But I'm going to point here at Stream Deck. This is the one that I've got right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my default. And you'll see I've got several keys that are set up there. It's kind of hard to see this right now. The reason is because of, let me move my mouse out of the way, because uh, when I get in here, the focus is a little bit of a challenge. But I think if I, I practice this, there we go. If we hold it in there, you'll get an idea to see what it is. So I've got four keys right there. So these are websites that I visit regularly. Here's one for CoinGecko. So I find out about how Bitcoin and Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies are doing. And then right here, we have, well, it just went blurry on me. Let me try to come back here and focus. There we are, LinkedIn. So I want 
want to bounce over to LinkedIn, I press one key. And then over here, I've got a calendar for my uh, editorial calendar that I use for the processing of uh, lots of uh, things I put out with on my podcast, on the various channels. And then here's a regular calendar that I put together. And then, by the way, I'm really proud of that, that graphic. I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? Let me know. I think that's got some really good uh, features there. And it's one that I put together in Canva. So all of these things are there, but it's not just that. We can do a lot more than just jump to a website. Now, for instance, right here, I've got something that is a Command W. You'll see the Command key there on the Apple, on the Mac, and then W, and what that does is it closes a particular tab. So now, I'm gonna put this back over here. What I can do, now you've seen, it, we actually got it right there, and let me go to another uh, scene here, so it'll be a little bit different. What we can do on this is we can use it and get a lot of good, good things on there and be able to use it that way. And by the way, we got some, com some comments coming in. Facebook user, love the shirt, Terry. Well, I'm glad you do. By the way, let me show you the whole thing here. This is our Dental Nacho Supreme. Really nice one, too. And uh, I just, matter of fact, this one feels particularly good. You know how a shirt feels when you get it right out of the dryer? Yeah, this one feels good. I was washing it today. See, I try to, to, try to wash clothes take a bath you know once a week whether I need it or not you know just good rule of thumb I recommend that <laughs> uh, but what I do with this I just uh, cleaned this today so it feels particularly good but uh, you can get one of these dental nacho supreme uh, if you'd like as well so whoever that uh, is want you to uh, have that great tips Terry well thank you Facebook user by the way you might want to and uh, we'll have to figure out a way to get you uh, registered on that and sharing this. I really appreciate the comments coming in. Thanks for sharing. This is great. Yeah, you wait till you see this thing and what it can do. Love that graphic. Canva is the best for that. Yeah, Canva is really, really fabulous. Thank you for your comment on that. I particularly like that. Canva, Canva did a good job. What I did, by the way, here's how I did it. I went over to Canva, which I highly recommend. We're using that a lot here at Dental Nachos. And I use it a lot. Uh, Gina, my partner, and I use it both in what we're doing as well. And I use the Instagram set for a post on Instagram, those dimensions, put it together, and when I downloaded it and loaded it into Stream Deck, Stream Deck took it and took care of the sizing perfectly. Really, really nice. So uh, I recommend using that and uh, what we can do with it. Well, now, here, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and show you how we get this set up here with it. I'm clicking on something on my computer right here, and I'm going to configure Stream Deck. So there we go. We got Stream Deck there, and I want you to be able to see what's going on here. So I'm going to click another little button right here. There we go. And this is what I'm looking at on my computer. I can see this right here, and I've got all these different uh, things set up. You'll notice that we've got uh, a lot of different icons in different places. In the upper left corner, you'll see Ecamm. That when I press that, notice what happens. This opens up another row of functions that are specifically devoted to Ecamm, which means with this 32 key option, we have almost unlimited number of buttons that you can put on there. You're not limited to only 32. And see, I can press this, I come back here, press my default, and it sends me right back there. But look at this, like for instance, if I wanted to see, oh, let's say Google News, I just press this one button, and when I do that, it's gonna send me over to Google News, there it is. So we're looking at right now, don't want to read too much of this. It's the news, and it's not always encouraging. But uh, we've got the the Google news that comes up. I can move around like that uh, over there, or I can tap over here. I'm going to press one key, and look, I'm going over to the Wall Street Journal because I've set that up. That's one that I use regularly. Go to the Wall Street Journal, or here's another thing that we could see. It could be depressing or it could be enlightening, depending on how you view it. Coin Gecko. I'm going to press this key down here, and when I do that, notice what's going on. It's bouncing around. By the way, we see Bitcoin is now at 32, uh, 623 as of this moment when we're doing this recording. Uh, it was down to 29, dropped below 30 today. So that's uh, uh, interesting. But some would say that's a buying signal. Yeah, it could be. I'm not going to make a prediction one way or another. Just say it's a good idea to keep track of all this stuff here. And then, by the way, I've got one over here that's the command W. Watch this. I just press one key. And when I do, it closed that tab. It's got the Wall Street Journal open here, so I'm going to press this, and it closes that real, real fast. And so you see, I can do that very easily. I'm going to go back here to the configuration that I have to let you see some of the things that you can do with this and what they've added in the new uh, features. These are all available here. I can put all this in here with a new tab. I can put on here also text. So for instance, if I wanted to uh, go into, let's say, uh, uh, let's use pages. I'm gonna launch pages. 
And when I do, Pages is uh, like Word over on, uh, but it's only for Macs. I'm going to start a blank document here. And uh, here we go. It's now loading. There we are. And you see we got a little blank document here. Nothing on there at all. And it's uh, kind of a nice little uh, feature here. What I can do is I can put some text in there. And here, let me adjust this a little bit so you can see it a little bit easier. And what I'm going to do, I can put in here, hello, how are you? I put that in here. Let me grab all of this text and make it a little bit larger so you can see it a little bit easier. There we are. There we are. Okay, a little bit larger than we would normally have it. This way you can see what's happening. So I put that in there, but I've got a key over here with some text. You can set up many different keys with common text that you want. And I'm going to press one uh, key right here. I think this, oh, that's a quick part right here. That's uh, thoughts on today. So I can do that. I'm going to press one key. Watch how this comes on the screen. There we go. Look at that. Here's a quick thought of the day. Something that I had typed before. I store it in there. Store it in there. Press one key. And I love the way that it goes on the screen. Now let me erase that and then show you again what it's like. I really like it. Think about this from a creative point of view. How you can really get some action when you, put, first of all, put the motion in there. There it is. Notice my hands never leave my body. There we are. Yeah. Doing it like this. It gives us the ability for putting in text of whatever you might want to have on there. This is a real handy little feature. And what I've done here, I've got a TOTD right there. What that is, is that gives me the ability to put a thought of the day or something like that. And here's how I do it. Down here, I just click on that. I put TOTD. That's what I called it. So I just typed that in there. And then I typed up the text right here. And I click here to press Enter after the message, just so that it'll be in there. So this is a nice little feature. Uh, there's something that's there. I got a new tab here. So you see what I can do is I'm using Command T, which creates a new tab on the Mac. And it uh, takes that function, puts it in there very, very nicely. And you see I typed the words here, new tab. So that put it in there as well. I can come over here. Look at this. So I can put in here the title, terrybrock.com. That's my website. And I put over here that I did, uh, I can show the title that appears on the screen there, or I can omit that if I want so I don't see it. I'm going to leave it on there for right now. And I just put the URL down here. So just copy and paste that in there. Then when I want to go to my website, just like I went to the Wall Street Journal, to CoinGecko, I can go over to LinkedIn, and Google News. Think of the popular sites that you're visiting on a regular basis. And what you can do is be able to set that up so you go to them on a regular basis. You see what's happening there, and you'd be able to, uh, to change back and forth pretty easily and uh, go back and forth. So I think this has some real good applications for making you much more productive. Think about how much time you're wasting every day by typing keystrokes over and over or commands on the keyboard. I got to do this and then to do that and then da -da -da -da, and all that. This takes those common steps that you have and it routines them. Routines them. Is that a good word? Yeah. Routines them <laughs> and it put the routinizes them. I think might be more appropriate and put it in there and it gives me the ability to do all that. But here's something that is brand new with their new version 5.0 and this is pretty amazing. I've got something here where we have uh, useful or excuse me, music and sounds. I put that in there and I want you to see what happens when I press this. I've put some key sounds in here and these are available in the new version of Stream Deck, version 5.0 or higher. And it gives you the ability to select from literally hundreds of sounds and music. So I say, well, gee, I can do that. Well, let's say you've got a video you're going to produce. You're going to put some things together. And by the way, Dr. Paul Goodman, Dr. Nacho, we're listening to this. This could be something really helpful for our team here. What I can do is I'm just going to press a key over here. Notice that we got one right up here called the channel. Is that it? Yeah, that's the name they gave it. I'm going to press, I like that one. I'm going to put it in, and this is what it sounds like when I do it. You hear this in the background? We've got that music. This sound is available. I don't have to worry about infringing on a copyright. I know that because I am a legitimate owner and buyer, purchaser of Stream Deck, I get this as part of the package that they worked out. Very nice. So nice little music in the background. I'll stop this one, let you hear another one here that's available. Some of these that they put in there I think are really, really nice to set a certain tone or a certain kind of phrase you want. If you're recording maybe a commercial using Zoom or Loom, you could record a commercial or an announcement about something that's coming up. And this music here 
in the background could be very, very handy for it. So those are really nice. I like that. But then down here, we have some fun. Notice I've filled up the two rows at the bottom with uh, some graphics here and take a picture or uh, crowd cheers, things like that. Well, here's how you can have some fun with that. Say, hold on just a minute. Let, let me get a quick shot of that. Yeah, there we are. Okay, hold it. Well, another one here. Smile, say, say cheese. There we are. Or, okay, and what does the crowd think of that? Well, yeah, yeah, thank you very much. So you see some little fun like it. And for that, we can put it in there. And I can put in here a sensor beep so that if you want to say, I don't care what the you're doing we can you see we can bleep it out have some fun with that and go with it another thing we can do is okay we're going to set this up and when we do this one just like that it goes stand by watch that again here it comes there it is yes indeed or i can go sometimes it just doesn't quite work out the way we want Ooh, no no it doesn't let's try that again oh no i don't like that oh yeah or I like this one right here. I think here in Orlando, where I am, Orlando, Florida, we like to believe in a magical way of living. All magic. Yes, indeed. Isn't that kind of nice? Little things like that you can throw in there. A crazy guy like me can go wild on this stuff. And so I am. <laughs> I get a chance to do that. But I want you to think about, oh, oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Somebody, did you hear that? I think somebody's at the door. Oh, yeah. Hold, hold on. We'll be there in just a minute. <laughs> There we are, having some fun with that, and all kinds of different sounds. And these are available within this as well. So I want you to think about what you've got here. With Stream Deck, you've got a way to do many, many different activities and make it much more productive, much more efficient. I would highly recommend this for someone who says, gee, I don't know computers that well. I don't know uh, uh, how to use them, or I don't know, for instance, let's say Ecamm, or a tool like that that can be a little bit more advanced. What you can do is you set these up as keys beforehand on Stream Deck, and then all you do is press a button. You say, oh, this brings up the music. Pow, hit that one. Oh, I want to bring up this graphic scene. Pow, hit that, and it brings it right up on the screen so that you can see it. This is one of the things that we can do with Ecamm, that I can just press a key there with Ecamm, and what it will do is it will give me the ability to go from one scene to another. And I can then make sure that as I do that, it brings it up. See, I brought up the dental nachos. I'll press this here. It goes back. So I'll bring it up again. There it is. Just like that. See, I don't have to worry about anything except focus on what I need to do. If you are using Zoom, if you're using uh, presentations, I encourage you to take a look at this and see what it can do. It's from Stream, and again, it's Stream Deck. And it is uh, the, from the company Elgato, available at an Amazon near you. You can go out there and get that. And uh, again, it's about $260 or so. Figure some change. Just figure about $300, and you'll come back with a little bit of change on that. So it's got some real nice features here. And by the way, we do recommend looking into, here we go, Dental Nachos Supreme. The Nachos Supreme, although my Supreme t shirt is being covered up with this, but here's what you can do. I want you to text Supreme to 215 five four three six four five four dental nacho supreme gives you the ability to get a massive amount of good not the least of which is you got on demand video training where you can get ce yes indeed that continuing education credit you'll be able to get that on your device of choice at the time of your choice in the place of your choice as long as you got bandwidth you're in good shape plus you also get regular visits with Dr. Nachos himself, Paul Goodman, answering questions about clinical practice, about uh, managing, working with your staff, also about uh, many other ways, for instance, selling or buying a practice, really important. All of that within Dental Nacho Supreme. So that's something I would recommend. Take a look at that. Again, you want to text SUPREME to 215 543 Six four five four. Do that, and you'll be glad you did. Another thing we wanted to mention, by the way, we are, are one of our sponsors here is Restream at Restream.io. That's what I'm using to take this message and go out to the world. This gives me the ability to do a lot of nice uh, features going out to Facebook and uh, YouTube and going over to LinkedIn and go over to Twitter all at the same time. Or as I like to say, not only is that at the same time, but it's also simultaneous. So uh, yeah, so we do it there. I know, I know, <laughs> don't work with me, okay? But we can use this and it'll get a lot done. I love Restream. It gives you the ability to go where people are that you wanna reach and that mean something to you. So that's what we're covering. I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below. We'll be catching this. If you're getting the recording of this, please leave a comment below and we'll respond within the next 24 to 48 hours. We 
watch these particularly so we can come back and uh, help you and if you've got a question you want to reach us directly you can do that here on the dental nachos facebook group i'm terry brock and for all the folks at dental nachos we appreciate you joining us and i will look forward to seeing you next week remember for two o'clock eastern time talking tech tips with terry tuesday at two have a wonderful day